I am a longtime fangirl of our first guest. She's an eight-time Grammy Award-winning artist who sold over 35 million records with the Black Eyed Peas. And now, after 11 years, she has her new solo album. It's called Double Duchess. Please welcome to our show, Fergie. <laughs> know where you are. Cause you, you, you know. wouldn't do that on the Today Show. You know. Okay. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to enter with some drama. I well, thought... welcome to our show. <laughs> Hello! I want you to put both feet on those shoes right there on the, mm -hmm. on the ground, yeah. And look in the camera mm -hmm. and flaunt your shoe pants. Right, let's hold on. Yeah, turn them around. They, they like to see the straps and the heels. Beautiful. Uh-huh. That was the most graceful. It's okay. <laughs> really nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. It's, um, you, uh, I just have to say, you've been so amazing. There's just been different times in my life and uh, I've seen different hot topics and I know you tell your truth and you wouldn't say things if you didn't even mean them, but you've said some really nice things about me at certain times when uh, I needed to pick me up. <laughs> so I, I just... <laughs> I just wanted to say you've been like a, you. little, a little bit of a guardian angel sometimes, giving thank me some you. love when I really needed it. So. Thank you, thank you very much. Do I call you Stacy or Fergie? Because <laughs> her name is Stacy Ann Ferguson. Born. I was born Stacy Ann Ferguson. I actually legally, <laughs> legally changed it to Fergie Dumel. <laughs> Fergie Dumel. <laughs> but I, I, I like that. So we'll see how we're gonna go uh, forward. But um, yeah, what do I call Ferg? Ferg? Fergie, Ferg. I love it. F Ferrari, Fergie, whatever you want. <laughs> Can I tell you something? So years ago, before Botox was even legally here, like there were a lot of doctor, doc, doctors who weren't doing it. This is like mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Yeah. Or 15 or uh -huh. something, whenever it was. Yeah. I knew you mm -hmm. in my head and mm -hmm. I'd seen pictures. Mm -hmm. And you were my guide for lifting. I, I want Eyebrows. the Fergie lift. You want it? Yes. Yup. You said. Yup. <laughs> yep. You said it, yes. You said uh -huh. go, go high like Fergie, you said this. I, I know this. You know this? Yes, I know. I'm a fan of yours. I'm a fan. Thanks, Ferg. Yeah, if you look really closely at one of these eyebrows, it's almost by mistake because I got a piercing here and I did a lot of um, plucking back in the day and, and I have a piercing here so you can actually see a hole. I see a hole. Where, where hair does not grow there anymore. Yeah. So I really have no choice. <laughs> but your eyebrows and your hairline, it's not yeah. quite Teresa, you all, <laughs> from Jersey, but it's a low hair, like I love it. Uh, yeah, I have probably the smallest forehead uh, on the planet. Uh, and uh, I have a funny story, I don't think I've ever even talked about this before. Um, but it, one time, because I wanted to, I wanted to have like more of a heart-shaped, uh, you know, a wider. You wanted to open your temples. Yes, thank you, okay. thank you, give me the lingo. Um, so I actually had it threaded Okay, kind of like to have it look like Marilyn Monroe, a little bit, a little bit of a Cupid's, you know. Isn't that peak. crazy? But, uh, but yeah, so it, it actually did, it did look really good because it gave me a little height here and plus right now I'm snatched. I'm totally snatched back. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, you know that trick. I, there's no trick, yeah, you know that trick. But uh, you no, know, I actually threaded my hairline and it looked really great for a while. And then it started growing back and it looked like these little pieces of like pepper coming right. out of my head. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because even though my hair is pretty light, it just, you know, the dots came back and, and Josh, who's a lot taller than I am, yes. he looked down at me one day and he goes, what did you do to your hairline? And he, he thought- noticed? That, he thought, yes, he's like, don't do that ever again. Wow. <laughs> so he's like, what is that? Yeah, he's like, did you get, are you implanting hairs there? I was like, no, I threaded it. Fergs, leave me alone. Don't, don't mess with anything. It's <laughs> like, you didn't notice it don't, until- Don't, 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 like you, <laughs> you are a beautiful woman. Thanks. And I really flexible. Never said that before, so that's an exclusive. But, but the hair threading story. But you're a beautiful woman and really flexible. You know she can still do a full split in her 40s. <laughs> okay.
so Josh has been here before. Yeah. And I feel like I'm in the middle of a divorce. Aww. Because I, I, I'm sorry about what happened, but if it's for the good of the two of you, then okay. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't my plan. No. <laughs> I wanted to stay married forever. How long so. did you date him before you got married? Oh, uh, gosh, I think like five years, since 2004. It was one of those mm -hmm. things where Fergs is beautiful and Josh saw her and then got in touch with his people to get in touch with her people. That's the yeah. great thing about being famous, not yeah. for nothing, is that you always have people to get in touch with people. Yeah. So then, so then Josh finally meets you mm -hmm. and he's all tall and good looking. I mean, not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. No, 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 he is, he no. always will be. Okay, um, all right, fine. I love Josh, he's the father of my child. Okay. We forever have that project together and we're doing the best we can. Yeah. Okay, he is good looking. <laughs> you, 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 you chose really well. Thanks. And you were married for, what'd you gosh, say? Gosh, you're getting me, like two minutes in, you're getting me tearing up? Uh, gosh, we were married um, January 10th, 2009. Okay. And dated five years before that. So five years, so got married. Together a long yeah, time. Yeah, so like eight years. And what they did back in February, if memory serves me, we talked about this on Hot Topics, is <laughs> they had talked with each other yeah. in February, like this is not working, but let's make it work. And before we make a public announcement, let's figure out how to do this. Yeah. So you had a bunch of weird interviews between February and yeah. the announcement, which was just like two weeks ago. Well, well exactly. It, you know, there's no right time ever oh. to, it's such a weird thing having to announce to the public, you know, because you're, when you're in show business, you, that's, you have to do an announcement, you know, and it's oh. not like just we tell our friends. But uh, yeah, we wanted to um, be sure and, Really, just find our footing, so while and, you and get and get all the the, you know the the crazy together. hurt stuff, um, privately before the whole barrage of media. And, and Axel's only four. Axel's four. So, yeah, Daddy has uh, he has we called it a workhouse for a while, and now um, you know it's just his house. We're kind of transitioning into that. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, so he's really not felt. A difference. We're 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 with him, you know, all the time. We're not just we're not with him together all the time. We try to do like a once a week thing where we're all what, three together. Will the three of you be Halloweening together? Probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Trick or treat. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's nice. Absolutely. So um and and is 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 Josh dating? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I ha look, look. You have to ask him. <laughs> well, uh, we've got the bureau, and I've heard nothing. Uh, okay. Uh, here at Hot Ears Topics. to the ground. I've heard nothing, <laughs> and and you're busy, you know, with your new project, which, you know what? I loved you in the Black Eyed Peas, and I gotta tell you something. Thank you. No disrespect to the Peas, but I had never heard of them until. For Galicious entered the picture. Uh -huh. And you were just this amazing girl with a whole bunch of rhythm, but you weren't trying hard to appropriate a culture. You were just doing your thing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't realize this was a group before thank, you. Thank you. Um, yeah, there were, there were some who had very different opinions of me joining the Black Eyed Peas, as they were, you know, this, this very cool more underground hip hop group, you which I was actually a fan of because you know hip hop is one of the loves of my life. Okay. I fell in love with it since its birth, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. and the whole culture. Uh, and so when I joined the group, there was a lot of people saying like, who's this girl ruining the Black Eyed Peas? She's horrible. And, and it was, for me, it was such a, like a beautiful thing to join the Black Eyed Peas, finally getting to be around hip hop and perform with the live band and these guys were abstract like I was. And, uh -huh. and to get that kind of backlash at first, you know, she's turning them pop, she's ruined. Like I was this mastermind of some sort trying to ruin their hip hop credibility. It was, it was, it was awful, but I had to really find it within myself. Oh my to, God, your nails. To, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> these are half double duchess, half, half and half. A nail cam, uh, yes. Yeah, dark and the light. Dark, yes. Dark. Ooh, which one am I? The dark side or the light side? Well, I gotta tell you but, something. But they really, really had to find it in myself to just get, find that inner strength.
to go out there every night and to perform my best and know that I was supposed to be there and know that, you know what? I deserve a chance just like everybody else and I've worked really hard and I've been a fan of hip hop organically. Organically just and, been a fan. Of and you know, you'll go down in history as being, if people uh, do their uh, research, one of the first white female rappers. Cause you rap, <laughs> you sing, you twerk, <laughs> you split. Well, I don't, con I, I don't consider myself, a, I consider myself a singer who You're raps. You're an artist. Who raps, who dances, who does yes. a lot of different things, some, does some acting sometimes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whatever, it's just kind of all, all around. And I just enjoy it. I, I love to entertain. I love to be on the stage. I don't know what else I would be doing. I just, I love it. I like to make a dramatic oh, exit, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna talk to Fergie about her new solo album and much more, so keep it here. We danced all through commercial. We made a music video to like three of her songs. <laughs> Just she, you're so I'm, much fun. Please only pick the good show. <laughs> you're so fun. Big. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, one thing about the peas, I heard that they were auditioning people to replace you, and one of them was the Nicole Scherzinger. Scherzinger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know anything about that? I don't. I don't. I don't know about any auditions. Yeah. Uh, I know that they've worked with. Um, you know, a lot of different girls on different things and performances. And another and, thing, yeah, I think that you would have been perfect for American Idol. That's all I'm oh, saying. Thank you. I've said it before. Thank you. Would you ever judge a show? I don't know. I mean, it, you know, I think that I would really enjoy it because I grew up uh, in this business. You know, I started working. I had mm -hmm. a social security number at, at seven years old. My mom would, you know, drive me to these auditions. And I was one of those kids. I would do the homework in the car. I grew up on fast food. Um, and you grew up to, in LA? Go to dance lessons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in LA mm -hmm. and, and going on commercial auditions. So for me, I've, I've always, I was on a show called Kids Incorporated when I was young. I remember it. And, hey. I remember. <laughs> and so, I, you know, from a very young age, it, it was a kind of a melting pot of all, all these different kids from different backgrounds, different musical styles. And so I, I could really, um, I feel like I could really see in somebody how, what their skill set is and how to even make that better. I would love you I think on I would be, a judge I show. I think I could be good at it. Yeah. I think I, would have, I think I would have a good time. So now, the new album is out and Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj are joining you on it as, you know, in collaboration. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I'm catching what you're throwing. Thank you, thank you. Uh huh. Got two bosses on there. Yes. Just come on. So talk yeah. about the album. Well, uh, see back here, this is um, Rick Rouse, the bouts. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> and he is, he's amazing. I mean, I remember uh, I used to hike. Well, I, they have these hikes in LA and everyone goes and hikes and you know, is one with nature and all of that and mm -hmm. really zen and I'm sitting there with my, my Beats headphones blasting as loud as I can, things like Rick Ross. Uh -huh. And this was back in the day, and I, I remember thinking, wow, I got to the top of the hill, and I thought, I wonder if Rick Ross would ever work with me. Like, that seems like a dream. I wonder if he would ever even do it. Did your people get in touch with his people? So, so years later, okay. um, I recorded a song called Hungry, which I meant to be, basically it was more like an interlude and the big dramatic opening to Double Duchess. I wanted that big oh. drama there. Uh -huh. and. Uh, I was at the studio one day and somebody said, I have a present for you. And they press play and it, I hear him. And I hear, whoo, and I hear, uh -huh. I hear his, his sounds and I'm like, what? He gave you some stuff. Yeah, he gave me bars and he, it was a present, like a surprise. And he even says in the song, you know, I must be telepathic. So it's weird how he was thinking of me and I was thinking of him in totally different places and, and mentally we connected. So that's some weird, You're oh, so trippy. cool. Up. Like, you're then, so cool. And then, and then he said in the, in the song, he said, um, 
you know, um, I, I, he said Ferrari Fergie. He gave me another name as if the world needed another nickname for me. But, um, he, he, but in another song I'd already done called Life Goes On, I say, um, um, you, gotta, you, you gotta speed your loyalty up like Bugatti. Baby, don't underestimate my underdog mentality. We about to race ahead, ambition on Ferrari. So I say ambition on Ferrari, and he called me Ferrari Fergie. So it was like this, another weird connection. You know, weird vibes. And, and then manifesting, the, I'm a big- The MILF video, yeah, so, where you got together some really cool women that we all know. Kim yeah. K was in the video. Mm -hmm. um, Sierra, mm -hmm. Chrissy Teigen. So these are your girls. This is this is your life. Yeah, oh yeah, just pouring milk on myself every day. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. No, but I mean your life in terms of you know you're you're muddling through your relationship with Josh. Yeah. You've got four year old Axel. Yeah. You're back on the scene after eleven years. Yeah. You rap. You're talented, and I love you, Fergie. I love you too. I mean, what's that to love? Um, like seriously, man. You. Uh, the new album is called Double Duchess. You picked that up, it's available now. Everyone in our studio audience, you got your copy on the house. 